All right, this is Sean Stryker, junior referee at World Power Wrestling, America's premier Lucha Libre promotion here in Doheny Beach at the Sabroso Taco Festival. And uh, check it out, we got Ramses today, we got Shadow King, we got Nacho from Nacho Libre, we got Principe Hindu, we got ourselves Red Spider, we got Mariachi Loco from Lucha Underground, a whole smorgasbord, a whole variety of luchadors, just like there's a whole variety of beers. So hit me up with the questions, man. What do you want to know? Yeah, so here about it was for all about people's passion. Where did your passion for wrestling come from? A certain match you saw that inspired you to want to get into the business, or was it actually for you? A mix of both. Yeah. I was already a fan of American wrestling during the 80s boom. Yeah. You know, watching with Grandpa, like everyone watching uh, the WWE or WWF at the time yeah. coming up. You know, the rise of Hulk Hogan, also watching the NWA territories with Ric Flair, all that classic stuff. But then in the early 90s, I caught on to Lucha Libre on Galavision. Uh, the AAA promotion was nice. expanding, and that's that brought rise to uh, La Parca, to Conan, and most notably, Rey Mysterio Jr., who I, we've had the pleasure of meeting a few times. Great guy. And the thing is, when you see people that are able to do that, they're able to overcome the size disadvantage of wrestling and use rather high-flying skills, use the mystery of their mask and use their speed. It's like, I'm a guy who already knows how to do amateur wrestling. If I had the speed set, I'm set. So I added that into my arsenal and then I had an injury, unfortunately. So my schedule's reduced. Torn bicep, had to have it rebuilt. But I'm refereeing, taking a lighter schedule and uh, you know, if these guys get out of line and uh, start bending the rules, somebody's got to call it down the middle. So now, what did you have to learn to become a referee? I mean, you, know, you go to wrestling, wrestling school to become a wrestler. What's the difference between becoming a referee and like, going to that? Well, the issue of becoming a referee is to have your head on more of a swivel because you got to sometimes referee a tag match or other people. When you're a wrestler, you worry about yourself. When you're a referee, you got to worry about both participants yourself. And one of the little bits of trivia is that if someone's trying to jump a barricade, some drunk fan, guess what? It's referee's job to kick their ass. Like last night at, at the Hall of Fame. <laughs> exactly. And you saw the refs and all those people got on it. We have a photo from last year. We had a drunk fan jump in. The referee was on. Everybody was on that guy before you could even get to the wrestlers. And uh, I don't advise anyone jumping the barricade. It's not a wise move in life. You gotta get your ass kicked. Awesome, man. Well, yeah. Where can people stay up to date? Websites, social media wise, want to come out to the match, or do you have anything online people can watch? Of course, there's the facebook.com forward slash Lucha Libre WPW. Uh, we're working on rebuilding our YouTube channel, so we're getting that up and going. That's going to be uh, World Power Wrestling, uh, Primero Lucha Libre. I'm currently actually doing a little bit of web nerd stuff and redesigning that gotcha. on my side. Yep. And then uh, we also have the schedule for the remaining shows this afternoon here in Doheny Beach at Sprosa Taco Festival. And uh, I see Shadow King's in the area to do yeah. an interview. Maybe Shadow King has some insight to give you as well. Hey, Shadow King. How hey, are what's you? up? Let's uh, come over here. They got the sun right on you. Looks good. All right, Shadow King, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion from wrestling come from? Do you know what age you decided you wanted to be a wrestler? Was certain matches inspired you, or was this actually for you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so my dad's a wrestler. That inspired me to be like him. When I was growing up, uh, I was watching WWE. Rey Mysterio, is my, he was like my hero. Yeah. I want to be like him. I want to be in WWE one day. I want to I wanna be world famous. I want to be WWE Grand Slam champion one day, hopefully. I want to nice. be big. So talk about your journey. Where did you go to school to learn and like when they get hooked up with this uh, league? For Lucha Libre, I went to Tijuana, Mexico. Nice. I was raised in Tijuana, Mexico. Originally, I'm from Newport Beach. But uh, uh, I was racing Me in Mexico, so that's about it. Very nice. All right. What's your like favorite go-to move you do in the ring? Yeah. Uh, a suicide dive. Yeah. A cold breaker. Stuff like that. Very cool. All right. Where can people follow your journey online? Do you have your own personal social media? Yeah, I have Instagram at the Real Shadow King One and Facebook at Shadow King. That's such a cool name. Is there any like story behind you came up with Shadow King? Yeah, yeah actually. Like, like, like I said, Ray Mysterio is my favorite idol. I wanted to use Ray, which means king. Yeah. And Shadow from another famous wrestler from Mexico called Black Shadow. So I combined those two names and Shadow King.